getting a bite over here on the corn. It's not very big. Feisty, but it's not very big. There we go. Probably in the mid 20s. You said not very big, but we're on the board this morning. So we caught that last carp on the corn. And I have corn on the rod on the left. And I've got worms on the right. And I've got something else on the corn. He's not very big either. So another carp, probably in the high 20s. So that's two on the board. So for those of you who've watched my videos in the past, that's where I'm sitting, that's my setup now. Okay, but where I'm standing is where I normally fish from. That is how much the water level has gone down here in the last two to three weeks. And if you remember right, the snags that I've gotten stuck in, gotten fish lost in, are right there. Well, they're not even in the water anymore. And that was pretty much waist high to me. And me being 6'4", you know, that's, that was pretty deep. So the water level has dropped significantly here. And uh, yeah, only saw a couple of fish jump so far today. Where usually if you get here in the morning, you usually see quite a few. But as you can see across the river, a lot of the area where the cod and yellow belly kind of hang out, it's, it's not in the water anymore. So, yeah, no bite over here on the corn. There we go. As I do that, I start getting one over here on the on the worms. Oh, oh, he took it. He hit that pretty hard, but he's not very big. Feisty one. Yeah. There we go. Another, another one. The same. Whoops. About the same size. Oh crap! Now I'm in the mud. Oh, sorry, guy. So sorry about that. But yeah, about the same size as the other ones. Oh, that's a bigger one. Oh, not huge, but oh, there we go. Definitely a bigger one. There we go. And he's trying to swim towards those snags, but those snags aren't there anymore, buddy. There we go. Good size to him, about 57, 58 centimeters. Yeah, he hit that pretty hard too. Off the corn as well. So, three smallish and one good size carp all on corn. I'm also trying something different with the angle that I'm filming. 
I've had suggestion that I should try and get it a little bit more closer to the rods so that way you can see the fish better and me catching them better. And when I'm able to, I'll try. Um, it's, it's pretty hard here right now. This is just very muddy bank down here right now. So I'm trying to do the best I can, but I'm trying to film down. That way you can actually see the fish coming in. Oh, my damn. Now, yes. So I'm trying to film downwards and down the stream. That way when I bring the fish in, you can actually see the fish coming in as well. So I, ho I hope it works better and let me know what you think. And we got into another one and he's got some decent size to him as well. We got that on camera. That was a nice little jump there. And another big carp. Oh, sh oh, he got off. Oh man. Well, that was too bad about that one. It was definitely. Heavier than the other one. I don't know if he was longer, but he was definitely heavier. You can feel it just with the pull. I always hate losing a fish at the shoreline. But we did see it was a carp. And uh, yeah, it's been a very carpy day. <laughs> Nothing else so far, but we'll keep going and see if we can either catch another big carp or see if we can get something else going on here. Well, Let's say that we're getting a bite on the corn again. Oh, no, didn't get him. I know one thing, I'm gonna have to clean up everything. It's so muddy down here right now. Rod's getting mud on it. Everything's getting mud on it. So, we'll uh, have to do a little cleaning job this weekend. Oh, just reeling in and realize we've got a fish on the line. Got a couple bites, but nothing stops. They must have hooked themselves good. Yeah, so there we go. Didn't even realize I had him hooked. Just started reeling in to check the bait. And he's 34 centimeters. So. so that's another one we caught off the corn. Glad I brought it. Oh, geez. That just hit the water. <laughs> this warm weather must be making them feel good or something. I don't know, but this is by far the best, best fishing I've had here in the last couple weeks. After a quiet period, we only got something. Hopefully we can get this one land. He's not he's not real big. He is feisty. He came off good. Right, there we go. He's probably up in the upper upper 20 centimeters probably 27 28 something like that so there we go oh we got a big hit on the i changed it over to corn and we got a big hit right away it's like the rest of the day it's a carpathon <laughs> so it's probably another one but we'll take it especially with the way the fishing's been lately Got him in. He's 52 centimeters. 
they put up a good fight. So yeah, so another decent sized carp for the day. So, corns, corns work tricks today. I'm not sure how many fish that is now. I think it's seven or eight, but it's been a it's been a really good morning. Well, it's afternoon now, but it's been a it's been a good day fishing. Well, that's all the time I have for today. It was a very good day of fishing. Uh, bite window from 10:30 to noon was fantastic, and then it slowed down a bit. Still caught a couple after that, but all in all, it was a very good day. All carp, but. This time of year, I'll take whatever I can get. Uh, beautiful day, it's supposed to be like this for the next couple days and then it looks like winter's gonna set in and yeah, we'll see how that goes. But uh, best of luck if anybody getting out this weekend and until next time, keep fishing.